Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at some more classic fantasy from War Games Atlantic with the advent of their Goblin Box. Okay, so taking a look then at War Games Atlantic's classic fantasy Goblin Warband. Uh, box lets you make 30 goblins. As you can see from the rear, a bit of fluff about the goblins and some ideas of how you can paint them or assemble them. Also, you can combine it with the previous giant spider box if you want to make cavalry. Taking a look at the sprue. So, we get six of these sprues, letting you make five goblins. Start at the top and we'll zoom in a bit so we can see the details. So we have a wide variety of heads. You can see uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 heads. We also have, sorry, 16 heads. That's a severed. We also have a second severed head being held down here. The helmets are an interesting variety of sort of, I would say, generic fantasy. We've got uh, Norman-style pot helms here, uh, flatter sort of Saxon or Anglo-Saxon. We also then have these very scalloped, almost oriental um, looking sort of wedged shaped helms. Enough to do plenty. We have a bonus head here with an executioner's hood. And then getting into the arms and armament, there are a variety of hand weapons. We have some swords, a mace and an axe. And then there's also this wicked looking punch dagger here. We have enough spears, I think, to do everybody with a spear. I want to say one, two, three, four. Oh no, not everybody with a spear. Most people with spears. Uh, again, we also have four bow, uh, three quivers, a horn for a musician, uh, some shield bearing or empty hands. And there's another few up here. And then we have our bodies, which come in two flavors. So there are three one piece legs, torsos, everything all there and ready to go. Then we have a pair of legs that are separate and a pair of separate bodies wearing some form of segmented armor on one. Looks like it's made of leather. And the other one's got a sort of a breastplate-ish thing strapped across its shoulder. We also have this little saddle. Nicely detailed, uh, well cast show you the reverse there. Only thing I have a particular issue with is this shield, where it doesn't have a shield boss. And I've looked and I've looked and I've looked and I cannot work out, is there supposed to be a hand with a shield boss on it? Or if it's supposed to go over something? I'm not, not entirely certain if there's anything lurking here that I'm missing. So that is the only quandary I have. Putting them together, I've made a little executioner with a, I'm gonna assume dwarf head, although it could be human, could be one of the dark age Irish, actually. He just kind of has that executioner look. The shoulder joints are a rounded, set, so almost like a ball socket, so you, you've got a great de degree of flexibility when you assemble them. Uh, but the heads are flush fit, so they, they set, you can pivot them left and right, but there's no um, up and down motion. I have my Samurai Ninja, punch dagger and sword at the ready. I made a spearman, who I've just broken the shield off, so well done me. Um, that was supposed to be like a front rank of a Greek phalanx. 
where he's just got the uh, cut out there. But anyway, I've knocked it off. It matters not. You get the idea. Boar spear. Stop people running down the length of the uh, shaft and attacking him. Lose a little bit of detail around the backside area here under the armour, but not so much that I particularly worry about it. It's a bit, um, I suppose, soft, the transition between the chainmail and the leg um, trousers. But then those are one of the things you have to deal with when you're casting in plastic. Sacrifices have to be made so it's actually able to be produced. And I have another spearman. It's one of those big kite shields. And these legs of Kimbo still work as infantry. So your box can be assembled as infantry without any problem. Um, but if you do decide to make cavalry, all you need to do is get one of the spiders from the uh, other box set. Pop the saddle on across the head, so somewhere around there, and then pop your goblin of choice on there. Let's do that. Oh. Let's do that a bit better so I'm not dropping it everywhere. No, it is. It's doing it off camera. I was fine doing it on camera, not so much. Oh, you minx. Come back to you in a second. The idea is feet set on the stirrups to the uh, sort of front of the foot and then bum onto the saddle. Obviously if the saddle is glued to your spider it's less of an issue. Apparently I am just too cack handed to do this again now. There we go, you get the idea. Sits on top. Saddle sits up there. Allowing your spider to uh, become a mount for your goblins. Size wise, the goblins are That's 23 millimeters to eye. Yeah, but 23, 24 millimeters to eye level from the puddle basing. So they should fit in quite well with most fantasy races. They're probably a little on the larger side for some. Um, but if I grab a human, let's grab my tiny druid. So it's a shorter humanoid type. And this druid is remarkably small. I get the feet to the right level. So yeah, a bit shorter than that. Most people will be playing with humans that are more like that, sort of larger, what they call heroic scale. So they'll do the job lovely. Uh, nice set of options, nice generic arms and armament. Um, has a, an almost Asian theme, but equally well could work for um, any traditional fantasy game or some of the specific ones as well. So there we have it, the Goblin Warband from Wargames Atlantic.
So there we have it, a great kit if you're planning on doing anything like Oathmark, Kings of War, Warlords of Erwan, whatever you want to throw in there. Uh, these goblins will find a niche, a good range of options with them, and also the ability to uh, buddy them up with the spider box to get some goblin calf on massive arachnid is always good for laugh, even if I can't actually balance a goblin on a saddle on a spider. Uh, use glue, I think is the answer to that one. But let me know what you think of the goblins below, folks. I'm going to move on. Bye-bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.